Trying to get your Elementor website to rank high on Google can be quite challenging. If this is you and you are personally struggling to get your website to rank high on Google, then there are a few things that you need to be aware of when trying to rank your Elementor site on Google. Now, what I'm gonna share with you in this video has worked for me and it's also worked for a bunch of our customers as well each of who have a website built on Elementor. I've managed to take my own website and rank it for position one for SEO Exeter, which is the city that we are based in, as well as a bunch of other lucrative terms as well. And our agency website now generates over 2,500 visitors every single month. So I'm gonna assume that the reason why you're watching this video is because you want your Elementor website to rank higher in Google. So what I'm gonna share with you, you're gonna find super, super useful. There are gonna be three main things that I'm gonna share with you. And more importantly, the third and final thing that I share with you is a bit that people trip over the most and it's such an easy fix so make sure that you stick around and catch that part as well okay so here we are logged into WordPress and this is our agency site that has been built on Elementor you can see Elementor here on the left hand side now the first thing that you need to be doing with your Elementor site is make sure that you have some sort of caching plugin or a tool that allows you to compress your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, what I recommend you do to do this is install a plugin called SiteGround Optimizer. Okay, so this is from SiteGround. Oh, our website is actually hosted on SiteGround as well, which is great. And so what you wanna do is make sure that a few of these things are, are turned on. So if we go to caching, you wanna make sure that your caching options are turned on so the website is cached at the very least. Okay, this dyna okay, dynamic caching is just gonna give us a, a relatively basic level of caching, which works really, really well. Now, the next thing that we need to do is combine our CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. So the way that we can do that is within the same plugin if we scroll down to front end and click that. You can see here that we have three options, one for CSS, one for JavaScript, and one for general. So you wanna make sure that your files are minified and you can also combine them as well. So combining CSS files is gonna compress everything together, get rid of any of the spaces, and that's gonna reduce a lot of bloat with your styling files. The same thing you wanna do with JavaScript. Now, the reason why I haven't combined JavaScript is because often with our particular site, we can have trouble with JavaScript being loaded because it relies on other third-party plugins. Okay, this one downfall to WordPress and using Elementor, but still you can get very, very good results without combining the files. As long as you've minified them, things are gonna work really, really well for you. And then in order to minify your HTML as well, there is an option under general where you can minify the output of your HTML. So that's gonna compress everything together. So that's the first thing that you need to do for your WordPress website when you're running it on Elementor. Okay, so that's the first thing that you need to do for your Elementor website in order to increase the performance and have a higher chance of having it rank on Google. It's really important to get your site as fast as you possibly can. And this is just one way that you can achieve that by implementing caching and combining all of your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files. All right, now the next thing that you wanna make sure you're doing is ensuring that you have the right tools on your site. Okay, so in order to have the right tools on our site, we need to install a plugin called Yoast. Okay, now if you don't know how to do that, you just wanna to head to plugins and you wanna click add new, and you wanna search in here for Yoast. Okay, and you can see that we have the Yoast SEO plugin here, so that's the one that you want. Once you have that installed within your Elementor site, you wanna make sure that you have implemented basic SEO principles by applying a keyword, ensuring that your Google information is correct. So if we click Google Preview here, it's gonna show us what our meta title and meta description currently looks like, and you have the opportunity to change that here as well. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you are implementing your target keyword. So our focus keyword is Digital Marketing Agency Exeter in this instance. And you can see that we have that keyword in here, separated by the in. So we have that in our title, and you also wanna make sure that you're using a compelling meta description as well. Okay, there are still businesses that are trying to get their Elemental site to rank, and are forgetting to implement basic SEO principles by adding a site title, meta title, a description. Okay, so make sure that's not you. Okay, the third and final thing is the part that a lot of people get tripped up on and it's kind of a quirk from Elementor. And if you're not techie and you're not thinking about SEO first, you can definitely get tripped up with this as well. But don't worry, it's a really easy fix and I'll show you that now. Okay, so when you're building your website out and you are implementing headings within your site, you wanna make sure that you're using the right heading hierarchy. Now, every single page on your site should have a H1 or main heading. Now, typically you think that this is our main H1 heading because it's the largest, but in this instance, it is not. Okay, you wanna make sure that your main H1 heading, your main title on the page, includes your target keyword. So our target keyword is Digital Marketing Agency Exeter. Okay, so this is our H1. Now, typically when you put headings within the page, and I'll show you this if I just drag a heading in, okay, it will apply 
the HTML tag of H2. Okay, so you wanna be aware of this because a lot of people will just go through and drag titles or not change the HTML tag. So if you're trying to get your pages to rank within Google, you need to make sure that you have the correct hierarchy in terms of HTML structure. Okay, so when you have your main title on a page, you wanna make sure that you're changing this to H1. Okay, and it's gonna make it bigger. Now, by all means with Elementor, you can style this to appear in any way that you please. So for example, we have this here, which is actually our H1, but visually it's smaller than our main title. This is how we're getting this page to rank for SEO is ensuring that our H1 is up here. And this is in fact a H5. So it's much less important than it is in this keyword here. And this is setting the tone. This is telling Google what our page is about. Okay, so every time that you drag a header onto the page, you wanna make sure that you are changing the HTML tag to fit, okay? So you would have one single H1 tag on the page and then every other heading that you add would at least be a H2 or H3, H4, H5 and H6, okay? You create hierarchy similar to when you write an article, you would have your main article title at the top, you would have then a secondary heading and then perhaps under that secondary heading you could have a third heading and a fifth nested head and a fourth nested heading or, or whatever. Okay, you can have multiple H2s, H3s, and H4s on a page, but you cannot have multiple H1s. You only need one H1. Okay, so getting your title HTML hierarchy correct is fundamental in getting your elemental site to rank high on Google. Combine all of those three things together, and trust me, your site is gonna be performing a lot better than it was before you implemented those things. So if you found that valuable, please do give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And also hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. There's an end screen coming up any moment now if it's not there already, with more valuable content for you to consume. That's it for me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.